It was in suite 2806 of this New York hotel that an incident is alleged to have taken place which threatens the career of one of the most powerful figures in world finance. Police were called after a 32-year-old maid told her employers that she'd suffered an attempted sexual assault. Dominique Strauss-Kahn was arrested shortly afterwards on a jet about to take off for Paris. He's been charged with a criminal sexual act, unlawful imprisonment, attempted rape, allegations his lawyer says he denies. As head of the IMF, Strauss-Kahn has won praise for his handling of the financial crisis. He should have begun meetings today with the German Chancellor Angela Merkel and EU finance ministers over the crisis in Greece. His arrest has shocked France. Opinion polls show him to be the favourite for the socialist nomination to face Nicolas Sarkozy in next year's presidential election. He was supposed to announce his candidacy for 2012, and clearly uh, these, uh, uh, these allegations will come as a huge blow uh, for French socialists who uh, saw him as the great hope uh, to follow uh, Sarkozy. Supporters say the man known as DSK is the target of a smear campaign in the French media over his perceived luxury lifestyle. Now he's received support from the woman who ended his presidential ambitions last time. Dominique Strauss-Kahn, like every citizen, has a right to be presumed innocent as long as the facts are not proven. My thoughts at this stage are with his family, to those close to him, and to the man who is facing this challenge. Strauss-Kahn survived scandal less than a year after taking over at the IMF, apologizing for a relationship with a female employee. Regrettable and an error of judgment, he said, but it damaged his reputation. The implications of what's alleged to have happened in room 2806 appear far more grave. Greg Milam, Sky News, Washington.